Okay, this is continuing on with the nervous system. This is going to be covering reflexes and reflex arcs. So, first of all, the definition of a reflex is an involuntary response to a stimuli. Um, and it's predictable. It's how we can test reflexes throughout the body. So, to kind of give an example of how you can kind of memorize this for the test is, I'm going to draw This is going to be uh, the spinal cord. So this is coming off of the spine, and we have spinal in that direction. And then we have uh, the center of the spine where the spinal cord passes. So this the spinal cord. Okay. And this is the CNS, central nervous system, and the spine is kind of going that direction. Um, so it's kind of a little bit of a three-dimensional figure. Coming off, we have in my drawings. Okay. So imagine that this is someone's leg and inside the leg we have the patella and we have the tib and fib going down and then up here we'll have some tendons muscle group so here's our muscle okay so when you hit the tendons, like with a reflex hammer, you have your point of origin. So this is your receptor. Now it could either be, in this example, it's the reflex hammer on the tendon, but if you were to burn your foot, that would be the receptor, would be your skin and where the point is starting. Um, and then from there, we have, I'll pick a different color. So this is the point or the origin. And we have neurons traveling. And this is our sensory. Neuron. And this is going to go into the spine and it's going to travel down and it's going to pass into the spinal cord and the reason it's called the reflex arc as you'll see here in a second is it doesn't travel to the brain it just is a reflex so it goes just to the spinal cord and it passes back around and exits out now this origin right here from what he labeled on his study guide is going to be um, the integration center. Okay, and then it's going to pass back out, and as it's coming back, it's no longer a sensory neuron, it's now a motor neuron. Because it's going to cause um, an action. So it's going to act like a motor. So the signal is traveling down or back, and it travels 
into the muscle, which is our effector. and causes a reflex, causes this muscle to contract, which in return has this kick up. So this whole process is called the reflex arc. And uh, for this, it's pretty much just process through the spinal cord, but if you or to burn your foot, it would pass through the spinal cord. You would still get the reflex arc, you'll pull your foot away, and then later the signal is transferred to the brain where um, it registers it as pain. It's kind of why you can sear yourself like on a pan and pull your hand away, and it takes a second, and then you can feel the burn. Um, I hope that helped you guys out as far as reflex arcs. Um, if you have any questions, just let me know.